What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. And today we have a video for you guys, and it's from a Senate hearing where they had Agent Hiken uh, talk about what was going on in San Diego under the Biden administration when it comes to the border. And let's just say it does not like it does not make Biden or Her Her or Harris look good. Not at all. Not at all. The truth's coming out. In San Diego, we had an exponential increase in significant interest aliens. These are aliens with significant ties to terrorism. Prior to this administration, the San Diego sector averaged 10 to 15 SIA arrests per year. Once word was out, the border was far easier to cross. San Diego went to over 100 SIAs in 2022. Well over that in 2023, and even more than that registered this year. These are only the ones we caught. At the time, I was told I could not release any information on this increase in SIAs or mention any of the arrests. The administration was trying to convince the public there was no threat at the border. Fentanyl is another issue. The San Diego area sees between 80 and 90 percent of the methamphetamine and fentanyl seizures annually for our entire country. With little enforcement at the border, these drugs were coming through in mass. During my last year in San Diego, the price for a single pill of fentanyl, for example, went from $10 to 25 cents. To make matters worse, during 2022 and 23, I had to shut down San Diego traffic checkpoints, which are critical for drug interdiction, because the resources had been diverted to the process and release mission. The large numbers also had and still have a negative impact on the San Diego community. I had to release illegal aliens by the hundreds each day into communities who could not support them. To quiet the problem, two flights a week were provided from San Diego to Texas. These flights simply brought aliens that would have been released in San Diego over to Texas. Each flight cost approximately $150,000. This was the administration's way to try and quiet the border-wide crisis. Wow. What testimony. You can see them sweating. Yeah. What's interesting is this is just in San Diego, uh, which is a small <laughs> port of border. When it comes to the four states that are on border, California's got the smallest part. The largest parts of Texas, imagine the amount of people that came through there that are on this list that he's talking about that are terrorists. Yeah. And we're not and a lot of them probably weren't stopped. No. And and I would guess that they're flying through Houston because Houston is a hub. And are they getting on a plane and going somewhere else? Are they staying here? I mean, we don't know. And these are terrorists. We are not talking about a mom and a kid. It's insanity. And tax dollars, $150,000 a flight. How many flights were there? So many more questions need to be answered. There's also another way to get around, and that's through the busing program that uh, uh, that the governors use it to get people from to California, to, uh, to Chicago, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. They could be using that, too. They don't have to use any of their money. Yeah. So I find this to be uh, quite alarming. And I think what people are warning about something happening, like a terrorist yeah. attack coming soon, I think they're right. Yeah. And it just depends on what these terrorist ideologies are of when that might occur. One date I'm worried about is the anniversary of October 7th. You know, is there something being planned for that? I mean, we don't know. You know, so we need to stay vid vigilant, but we need to make sure that everybody knows what is really going on, because if they don't, then it, it could it could be really bad. And we all need to band together because it's something has got to give. And this is scary when we have ex chief Border Patrol agents um, warning us. We need to listen up. All right, guys, let's stay in the video. Really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out there, buddy. Thank you for joining us again, and stay frosty, y'all.